I'm Jolene Chan. I'm a Fulbright Senior Researcher for year 2015 and 16. I'm a cross-trade a researcher working on a project in both Taiwan and in China. In Taiwan, I'm based uh, at National Defense Medical Center. My home base is at University of California, San Francisco, where I'm an associate professor in the School of Nursing. My project is looking at risk factors associated with childhood obesity in preschool age children in both China and in Taiwan. And the main goal is to identify who are at risk for obesity, specifically uh, among preschool age Chinese children in Taiwan here. Interestingly, we have uh, recruited about 184 uh, preschool age kids uh, in Taiwan from both Kaohsiung and Taipei we found about 25% of those preschool age kids are either overweight or obese. And almost half of their mother are overweight and about 80% of the father are overweight or obese. And we also found that in our study, we found that girls as well as mothers who perceive the kids to be overweight. And also if the family had access to an unhealthy snack at home, those kids tend to uh, at higher risk for obesity. Obesity has become a global health issue, impacting not only developed countries, but also developing countries. I think understanding issues in different countries can help, not just U.S. and Taiwan, to understand how can we develop a health program or policy that can help uh, to build a healthy environment for our kids and to reduce later on diabetes and cardiovascular diseases for the specific uh, populations. When I was working with the parents, working with the preschool teacher, I was able to exchange our information about, you know, what's preschool kids' life look like in Taiwan as well as in the U.S. And we can share information about if we are able to build a program, how can we build a program that can fill the needs of different population. And in addition to my research activity, I was also able to give talk and presentation, share with other colleagues who are in nursing field about nursing education, share with them about how we develop curriculum how we train our nurses, how we train our next generation of nursing scientists, and also how I also learned from them how they train the nursing scientists. Because I, I think culture is changed. It's not just one way, it's both ways. I've learned so much from them about how we can best prepare our nurses. The human subject protection in healthcare policy and healthcare research is a big thing. Mm -hmm. So those are the two major issues that you know, um, roadblock. It just you need to plan really ahead of the time about get approval for doing research as well as where you have access um, to the study population. So you will sometimes, you may see me on the road carrying my suitcase, which is a bunch of weight scale, height scale, bunch of questionnaire, working on the preschool setting, which is lots of fun too, but additional work that you have to think about uh, before you start your research. National Defense Medical Center has been very generous and welcoming to my state. Uh, as long as you ask for help, they can provide those resources and help as needed. The other thing I think is that um, I was also able to network with other disciplines by connecting with the colleague here, so that's really helpful. I had the opportunity in the past to work with different uh, institutions in Taiwan doing research, but it was a short time, like a week or two weeks to do that. So I wanted to come back really to have a longer period of time, not just to do research, but really understand the culture here, interpret my data in a much more meaningful way, instead of look at the data without understanding the culture, the background of the education system here. So I think that I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to be a Fulbright researcher, to stay here and to really understand not just the research, but the meaning behind each of those data they have collected.